Good morning, morning Wildcats. Wildcats. Today is Friday, September 29th. I'm Ethan. And there's still a Pop-Tart wrapper in that cup. And this is your WCAT News. Class of 2018, schedule your appointment with Gigante by October 31st. They will be on campus for a handful of sessions on October 5th and 6th. Students who do not have their picture taken by this time will not have their picture in the yearbook. From now through October 6th, the National English Honor Society will be accepting applications. You must have a 3.0 overall GPA, A's and B's in all of your English classes, and two teacher recommendations. Applications are available on the school website or by visiting the link below and clicking Apply for Membership. Monday, October 2nd is Picture Day. It will be held in the gym and students will get their picture taken during their English classes. Teachers, don't forget to come down for your pictures as well. If a student does not have an English class on campus, they should come down to the gym during their placeholder period. Now for today's sports. Thanks, Ethan. For sports, will be a volleyball tournament at 5A High School and a varsity football game at Anklo High. Now for weather. Good morning, Wildcats. For today's weather, it's going to be a high of 94, a low of 72, and a 20% chance of rain. Now back here, Anklo. Wildcats, the school will be providing meals at no cost to all students through October 20th. Meal choices may be limited due to availability and will not follow the published menu. Class of 2019, now until October 6th, hoodie and t-shirts will be sold to students and staff. They can receive order forms online, in the media center, or in student services. The Class of 2021 shirts are for sale for $15 and students can receive an order form from their English teacher. Money is due to Mrs. Robinson by October 6th at 2 p.m. Any student interested in playing a winter sport, please see Mrs. Garrett before or after school in room 426. You will need to complete an athletic paperwork packet prior to participating in any sport. For girls interested in playing soccer, conditioning will be held Monday, October 2nd, Wednesday, October 4th, Monday, October 9th, and Wednesday, October 11th from 3 to 4.15 after school. Tryouts begin on October 16th. Students must have the athletic packet filled out to participate these days. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Sapola or Coach Mathis. For those unable to attend the last meeting, there will be another meeting for the Galapagos trip of June 2019. This is for students and their parents interested in attending or for those who just want to find out more information about the trip. The meeting will be on Tuesday, October 17th at 6.30 p.m. in room 202. You can also see Mrs. Taylor or Mrs. Mester for more information. Interested in running for homecoming court? Please see Mrs. Murphy Weaver in room 401, Mrs. Van Casey in room 301, or check out the school website to receive an application. Applicants must complete and turn in an application by Monday, October 2nd. Class of 2020, t-shirts are on sale now. See Ms. Garcia in room 319 or Mr. Fector in room 406 to place an order. The t-shirts cost $12. Any freshman interested in running for secretary or treasurer for the class of 2021 has until the end of next week to submit an application to run in a special runoff election next week. Any interested students can see Mrs. Weaver in room 401 or Mrs. Van Casey in room 301 for more information and the paperwork. All paperwork is due by 2 p.m. this afternoon. The Wildcat Olympics are on the Friday before the homecoming dance, October 21st. If you want to sign up for any events, see your class officers. Class of 2018, student meetings have started. There are meetings every Tuesday, Wednesday, and next Monday in room 611 after school. Please come out to represent your class. Any student that's interested in participating in the Gulf Coast Odyssey of the Mind should plan on attending an informational meeting on Wednesday, October 4th at 205 in room 307. See Mrs. Ingram for more details. There will be an informational lacrosse meeting for any students interested in playing this year in the Media Center on October 10th at 2.30 p.m. Now for today's news feature. In Wesley Chapel High School, the TV production has been an academy for only five years, but it's always been a part of this school. So how long have you been in TV production and what do you like about it? I've been in TV production for two years. Uh, I enjoy it because I, I like to work with the camera and uh, I like to edit, edit my videos and see how they turn out after I finish them. Uh, my plan is to make TV better. Um, it's to incorporate kids from outside of TV and like if in my free time, I'll go and like ask them questions around the school um, and like just get other kids involved that maybe are interested in it or. Are you planning on following a career in TV? 
Uh, I am planning on following a career in TV. Maybe not necessarily uh, TV, but photography or uh, something along those lines, you know. This is Jose Morales reporting live from WCT News. Thanks for watching Wildcats. If you're a swag and dragon, follow your boy Wesley the Wildcat on social media. That's, That's all for your WCAT news. Have, Have a great, great weekend, weekend Wildcats. Wildcats. <laughs>